Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So I I've been spending spending some time uh, testing out some monsters, like trying out random things um, for for lineage. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I've been I've been farming so hard last week that I I feel like I kind of kind of kind of need a break. Like I just I I'm still doing everything I need to do daily, but I I haven't been refilling daggers at least not till the next like double gold event or next uh, whatever event. I don't think I'm. But then again, I might have a lot of daggers by the time I I. Uh, you know the next event comes around so I'm not too sure if I should you know save up the daggers because I actually I think I saved up actually too many daggers for for this event I wasn't able to use all of them so um, definitely definitely do want to use up some daggers by by next time I I don't know how to feel about these events like the the ones where you you're able to farm as much as possible like it's it's pretty scary because you you <laughs> You go, you go so hard that you, um, you basically you burn yourself out by the end of it. Um, holy shit! I think Adele might die, but then again, I have like a ton of tanks that I can use, so it doesn't matter if Adele actually does die. Or I could take out my Death Knight and put in Olga. I'll put in Olga in the next round. Should be a little bit better. All right, nice. He came out. Um. But yeah, I, I farmed so much. I think I farmed more in the past week than I have in the past like you know month or so. It's just insane. I've been refilling um, daggers and and just you know using the dagger pouches like mad. It's it's pretty insane. But I I farmed so much that uh, now that now that I have everything, I think I think I was maybe a little bit disappointed with yesterday's summon. I was expecting a lot more. Um, but then again, there's like so many monsters in the game. It's it's pretty hard to be able to pull, um, actually get get pieces for the monsters that you actually need. And even if you do get them, it's really really hard to um, make it useful because you need so many pieces. I think it's just the uh, the way that the game is designed. Like it doesn't feel it doesn't feel rewarding. I think that's that's the that's the problem. Like the the design itself is actually pretty balanced. I think like you know it's not um, it doesn't lean really hard again for like pay to win and um, you don't have to like go super hard and, and you know just basically invest your entire life into the game if you want to want to compete in the game but um, at the same time I like there's players don't feel like the the I don't know that that kick you know that kick you get when you like summon something really good and you're like holy shit I I f finally have it um, I think lineage is kind of missing that element that's why that's why um, after a long time, you get, people get worn out if you don't find interesting things to do. But I think I'm, I'm the type of person that always finds like uh, random things that like I can I can work on. Even if I don't want to be like super competitive, I can still work on a lot of random things like uh, you know getting getting random monsters to try out um, and and experimenting with those things. Alright, please, please drop something. It's pretty insane, like, the, the gold potions, like, that you need to, to, uh, transmute your monsters to gold, it actually takes so many potions, it's, it's crazy, like, it, it pretty much takes a whole entire month of farming before you're able to transmute anything. Come on. No luck. All right, I'm at I'm at the top floor already. Let's see if there's any uh, purple items that I can use to like reforge rings, armor. All right, I'll take I'll take the armor. Dang, they got Arin too. But Arin's pretty beast. Not gonna lie. Alright, I 
All right, all right. Um, I can't remember what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, I was I was finished with that. Um, time to time to do my daily summon. I actually fucked up my recording while in the time rift, so um, no time rift. Oh nice, I can get a four star Orcus. Had a lot of luck with Orcus. I've I've been summoning him quite a lot. Um, yeah, I think I I can definitely raise him to four stars. He's a pretty good monster. But I don't have any boxes to open, like no no events, no boxes. So I think that's that's um, that's all I can really do. I'll do I'll do arena fight and a and a coliseum fight, so you guys can uh, get updated with the meta, with what's going on right now. All right, so now everybody has like full six stars. It's pretty sick. How did this guy make it to rank 22? Is Baphomet that much stronger than Adele or Kurtz? Wait a minute, how is he able to get to this rank? Alright, we're running a similar comp. The only difference is he's running Baphomet, I'm running Kurtz. Could it be Zelene? Actually, it could be Zelene. Zelene's pretty, pretty damn buff. Man, if only I had a four-star Adele. I definitely think a four-star Adele would, uh, would be stronger than Baphomet. Baphomet's like super RNG, like if you dodge a lot you can win, but then if you if you're unlucky you just lose instantly. But I guess if you have really really good luck you can just try over and over again, you might be able to beat someone. That actually sounds like a pretty good plan. Maybe I should try it, I should try raising Baphomet. I mean, he is a tank, right? So I need to stack more tanks. Hey, what is this? What is this bugbear bullshit? Oh wait, bugbear actually might be pretty strong here. Although decreasing my skill gauge, I don't think is gonna matter that much. Like, think about it. You you die just to decrease my skill gauge. Like, what's that gonna do? Oh dang, my stone golem died so fast. I think the bad thing about um, about stone golem is how far he's he is like in terms of uh, like you know the the priority that the monsters focus in first. If you if you've noticed like um, if you're if you're running multiple tanks. What would happen is like Adele. I think I don't think any monster has has more frontline priority than Adele. Adele is always first, and then you'll you'll see other monsters like um, you know monsters that are in the front line, um, like like I don't know Baphomet or Kurtz or something like that. Like Kurtz will be behind Adele, but then like Baphomet will be behind Kurtz. You know, kind of get how that works. I think tanking priority like if. If the Stone Golem had a better tanking priority where he was like the last one hit, it would it would be really, really awesome. Cause he he actually has utility. Like he makes he actually makes tanks tankier. So he's he's more of a support monster. He's not a he's not a full tank, I think. Um but anyways, that is the that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.